Far I know why oh and when the way things go And not everything you have that is to show But some man a laba laba they like to boast Well as long as my heart beat then I will know Ja just speed a real speed not too fast and neither too slow Just keep the faith and you will grow He mueve al monte Cantando yo, pon tu fe en ya, desde el corazón, siembra tu semilla, hazte fundación, mira lo que pasa en la sucia Babilón, no want to identify the powers of the sun, the lion as a lama, the lama as lion. Ay, ya don, Taros. Give me strength, oh ya. To cope with such yes. And still we say give thanks to Ras Kubo for this one Give thanks, it's a blessing my love Alright, alright Big up Zona Records, all time We do real things, you see From the heart, we talk about life And we yes. show the way And we get ourselves out of them Hey, I shit you wish uh-huh. Yes I get tell myself, hey, what a shit you wish with them from boy see the what a shit you wish and they put in the black man in what a shit you wish I cartel turn up him skin what a shit you wish and I they put in the human being what a shit you wish and check the location Earth, Jah give a command. Do as it is in Zion. Tell me what wrong with man? Why use parable to school simpleton? Knowing straight is not gonna overstand. But the Almighty zeal is to teach all man. Tell them what a situation. They put in the black man in What a situation Cartel turn up him skin What a situation They put in the human being What a situation Check the location Earth In the global war is mean Enough conflict come from blood boiling Computer stop work so all the cars styling Fridge now work so all your food spoiling And deny that the ground was the best to tile it Everything black out when white spoil it Talk about white them say them black are silent But I lie Hey, what a shit you wish and I They put in the black man in What a shit you wish and And me say cartel turn up him skin What a shit you wish and I They put in the human being What a shit you wish and Check the location Earth But you give a command Him say do as it is in Zion Tell me what wrong with man I Why use parable to school simpleton Knowing straight is not gonna overstand But the Almighty Yes, this is the sound of Aisha Dan Aisha Bell is in the place, welcome Aisha Situation I They put in the black man in What a situation I I miss a cartel turn up him skin What a situation They put in the human being What a situation Check the location Yes sir Yes Let me, let me just switch off the radio okay? Alright, alright Yes sir Yes, welcome. Hi, Jadan. How you doing? Yeah, man. Highly. Yes. Proper king. Yeah, man. Yeah, Everything man. cool. You know. Virgin, first I want to say thanks for taking time out of, you know, your busy schedule to spend some time with us here in Zion INS so I can learn more about you 
and your music. But yes, just sir. before I kick everything off, I'd just like for you to introduce yourself to a listening audience and tell them a word or two about Aijadan. Well, you know, to the people that don't know who Aijadan Taurus is, I'm a man boy, born in Dominica Island. And then from a very young age, King, my interest was music. You know, all during my school days, my, my focus is on making music and projecting that message, the good word, you know, the, the law of Jah, what man need to really vibe with and keep a good frequency in, in these times, you know. So music, I, I see it, I cite it from time, you know. So Ijad and Taurus is really music, man. It's just music in flesh, you know, because that's, right, that's, right. that's all that really make me feel. Mm -hmm. happy you know yeah man yeah man so you know, so from what i know about you, 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 you like you just said you started music very early i mean what was it about music that attracted you with, with, with that much passion where you have that much passion for music to where now you're doing music to reach masses yes king that's a real, a real nice question. You know, I, I got the perfect answer still. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we learn, we learn through a lot of different medias. You know, human beings have different things that they can use to learn. Some people like television. Some people like music. Some people like books. You know, some people like like going out traveling, and then that's that's the way they gain their knowledge, their experience. Well, I I can say a big part of my experience during my my youth is from music you know the music i used to listen to and catch the message that make me even turn away from religion and all other ways of getting myself you know mentally and spiritually fit to teach people and, and to and to to to, uh, to have a link you know to deal with people because really man life is much more than what we go to school and learn and go to church and learn and in music you can hear the difference you know the people the artists get between the lines Right. what is really life and reality you know so so that is why man i say the music yeah from from you is my teacher you know so that's that's why i pick up the role right now to do what i learn you know yes yeah. so who are some of the musicians that you listen to who are some of the artists that you listen to growing up and you know who are some of those that you would say inspire you personally yeah man personally well, growing up back in back in the times, the music that used to be sounding was man like Shabarangs, Everton, Coco T, you know, some elders, you know. But this time when I really started recording and producing music, I started getting into the Tengri side, you know. Yes. When I first, when I first heard music from Desiree and, you know, from a, a first mix I got from St. Croix, I started searching on these artists, Batch and all these men there. And I see, well, that is that is what I was searching to start picking up and and really make music in, in that sense, you know? So yeah. I would say it, it's these artists, man. That's that's the big influence from us. Right, right, right. You know, with that, yeah. you know, um, not only are we going to talk so they can learn about you, but now introduce those who are listening to you musically. Um, you know, I, I played on track, and then I played Situation. So what I'm going to do this evening, I'm going to put you in the selector's box, right? So yeah. yes. I'm going to have you choose what you would like for the listening audience to hear great so uh, what's the next tune that you'd like for me to drop for, for those who are listening right now yes I will. for the people them um, I, I i really can't tell what is the population like now you know the people on zion highness if it's a spanish population if it's english speaking do i know the album is is balanced you know i have six tracks in english six tracks in spanish you know right but then i yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna choose from my personal liking you know the track i feel which is the most potent for him and still is sababa you know sababa. sababa is a word where where anybody can relate to it because it mm -hmm. don't come in english neither spanish if not hebrew which is a, a part of the ancient language and the word itself has a very powerful meaning behind it you know so when man says sababa which really means is like we're sending out a good word, you know, projecting good energy to the people. So I would like to start off with that, man, to just send out some good energy to the people then still, you know? All right. You know, so once again, yes, and just to tell you, I, Jordan, we're also streaming live on um, the People's Choice Radio from out of New York, and we have Island Beach Radio from out of Canada, you know? So really? here we go. 
coming from Aijadan Taurus, and this one is called Sababa. Yes, yes, uh, yes, I. Uh. La producción original. This you know, records. Big of Ross for this rhythm. Aijadan there, in sintonia, once again. Hey, watch how you caught and go through. In a world where people watch you and the works you can do. But crabs in a barrel keep on pulling on you. Some of them marks like starring, don't make them shoot at you. Headshots from sniper rifle aiming at you. An innocent youth in the streets just a walk and go through. After incidents like that, how can you not be curfew? Raging accidents and attitudes of high altitude. Hey, oh, there's a new word that I have learned in Hebrew. That can be a good word for Aijadan and for you There's a new word that I have learnt in Hebrew That can be a good seed for I and for you Miss Ye Sababa Shout it low, chant it to the other Sababa In Venezuela they must sing it on the Sabbath Sababa Aijadan man of them all I wonder some wandering is not a temptation Sababa Life is sweet no matter what the matter Sababa My mouth is the only one I have a Sababa My island sitting up on lava Sababa So my dreams don't figure out hey, hey, We tell them Shabbat Shalom We show that already Now show it again And say it for your people it's the SLD, yeah, we should treat each other equal. Look good and look good over evil. The lion, ja and lamb is over the bear, dragon and eagle. Love life and live in hurt it, evil, evil, evil. Get one inversion of a godly law. Why you think them stole all of the Bible for? In Africa, in a mundo real. Africa come first, yes. I may say American Hebrew used to run intellectual. The same hieroglyphics is now symbolical. Psycho, I hope you hear, is not psychological. Not to be categorizing analog nor digital. Not even replies can figure out if it's scientific. If it's a mental or a bodily, or if it's a spiritual. For one word to come can dominate over all. Hey, Sababa. Yes, Sababa, and that one is coming from Aijadan Taros. Yes, yeah, man. So, Aijadan, tell me, um, where are you at right now at, at this present time? I know you're originally from Dominica. Um, Dominica, right? Yes, sir. So, yeah, right Venezuela. now, right, right mm. now, I'm in Venezuela, King. All right, all right, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Venezuela for some time, and I have some plans of traveling lower down south still you know i want to get to know places like chile and argentina colombia you know because there's a lot of vibration in in the spanish world of reggae still you know right 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 yeah, right yeah yeah i've been getting a, a lot of links and every day I, I i see a different production a different label where these men pushing the work still you know it's just a different language and a different set of people to deal with so it's a blessing still you know i, I like being in venezuela presently <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. You know, right. You know, which is is nice. I mean, be, being bilingual and and you are able to push the message where you know more than one yeah. one um, language can actually understand. Because a lot of times, sometimes we have listeners and they love the beat and 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 things like that. Um, however, they probably don't totally understand what is being um, you know said. Anyway, Aija done. No, in doing music, just to kind of go over your personal history with, with music. Um, you started music at, at an early age, but at what point did you decide that you're going to take music to that professional level? And what was it like for you um, graduating or maturing from just being a lover of music, enjoying making music and taking it? over into that professional um you know part professional of level yeah man 
as a career, you know, as a part of my life, you know, making music. Mm -hmm. Well, well, yes, I can say when I first started, that was back in Dominica. You know, if I can record, I can go back way back to 96 or even before I used, I used to record on cassettes, right, right in my house, you know, just get the rhythms and plug in a microphone, dub the cassettes. And then these same tracks, I never got, I never got rid of my music still. I have a whole pile of books and, and lyrics from way back, even when I was youth, that I can go back to and, and remember these tracks too. Mm -hmm. So then all, all these things, if I, if I just use them now as examples, is, is a, is a, how, how, how can I say it? It's a fact. You know, it's it's a whole part of my whole cycle and evolution as an as an artist because some man would do certain works and then they would even lose it and they wouldn't even remember they had done a track like that. But I'm the kind of person for I where where I never I never lose any of my musical works. So then that just make me feel like that is the mission where I'm supposed to be on personally right now to make music. You know? So to go back to go back now from where I left out. From Dominica, the steps was, was elevating, you know, start recording to CDs and having my demos. But then I really started publishing my works in like late 2007. Yeah, that's when I f got my first computer, you know, so then I could really start editing my own videos and mm -hmm. start le learning all the moves around the music. So now when I see that I had the ability to make my own music, make my own artwork, make my own profiles i say yeah man that good energy can't be put to waste you know and then a man feel his own calling a man can tell you hey no it's not your time you're just fooling yourself this that but if you personally feel it's your calling and that is why you live for i don't think no man can tell anybody anything still <laughs> right, you know? right so yeah man so making music that that's what it is for me personally yes. so um you know talking about that and once you know you want to do something, you should basically you shouldn't have someone discourage you. What were some of the struggles that you personally uh, um, come up against? Are you had to deal with um, moving up into the musical fraternity, getting your music out there? Um, you know, because you know it, it's, and I guess especially for a lot of new artists coming in. I mean, just to get on the fact that it's not really an easy road. Sure. Well, mm -hmm. personal personal struggles. Well, it's a it's a part of everyday life, you know, King. And then there's there's certain phrases, certain words that they teach us in growing up, and then we see it in flesh, you know, like that phrase where they say "crabs in a barrel," you know. This this is my biggest hindrance in making music, King. Yes. Because first, yeah, because every artist that started out in the music industry. He wasn't known or he wasn't famous instantly. You know, it had to take some energy and some strength from the people to recognize him and, and help him to push his way through. Or if not, he had enough money to pay for all types of advertisement and, 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 and get through with it commercially, you know? Yes. So my, my, my biggest hindrance in that vibe was when I first started to plan little events or I had a little, a, a mini studio set up at my house. So then, I personally used to feel that fellas would make fun of me, you know, or I, or I being scorned, you know, it's like I'm the lamb, lion and lamb being scorned at the same time. Because really, man, mm -hmm. I used to see it as a hatical step. If I if I take my energy to create a flyer, to call up brethren and say, hey, yo, let's do this vibe there. And then certain man that would know the movements, they wouldn't even show up or they would look at you like, hey, yo, that man trying a thing, but really what? But then these things really king is for me is a big problem you know so i don't take them lightly so that's that's the problem for me is the the lack of unity amongst i and i right in the musical vibe because i, I mm -hmm. would link certain bigger artists even on facebook and these men would give me all types of funny excuse you know and then i would see that doesn't make sense i wouldn't call a man name you know mm -hmm. but one just just an example is like i would tell an artist hey yo Brethren, you know, I, I know you have a lot of followers, so then I have this this event where I want people to download my album, you know. So just if you can just like the album and share it on your profile, that would be good. But then through lack of knowledge, the brethren had had a show in the next country on that same day, you know. <laughs> Whereas my vibe is just on internet and the man tell me, Well, he personally he can't he can't do that because he have a show on the same day. You know, to me that that seemed illogic, you know. 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's that's the problem. Even presently, for me, the problem is the is the crabs in a barrel mentality. You know, where right, man right. feel like if they are close to the top and the next man get next to them, it's like he gonna take what is theirs, or or some kind of vibration. You know, right. just side that as negative. Yes, you know, and and talking about yeah. that, and and um, it, it's. I think, um, not that I think, I, I know I've, I've heard a lot about the, the, the non-unity in, in, in music. Um, and coming up against that, for you personally, what is that inner thing inside of you that still said to Aija, say, you know what, I'm going to keep pushing and, and I know I'm, I'm not going to stop. What is it within you that keep you pushing and, and not really, you know, just dropping the button and say, you know what, I can't deal with this. <laughs> yeah man <laughs> you know it's the it's zeal still it's just ja and the zeal thing mm -hmm. because when a man when a man actually tell himself in mind heart and soul that like he gonna do something automatically your spirit and your and your whole feeling does adapt to this you know so that is what you will be mm -hmm. so right now that is what that is what i am you know really Right. All right. Yeah. You know, with that, let's go back into the music box, you know, because, you know, we want to hear some music also. So, like I said, tonight you are in the selector's box. So, you know, drop the next tune for the master. What, what's the next tune you, you'd like um, for them to hear? And I mean, language really doesn't matter because we have an international listening audience. We have people from all over the world speak all different languages and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. Well, let's see. We're going to balance it up right now. You know, I got I got this tune called Rasta, Rasta Escultura. Mm -hmm. You know, this means that Rasta is culture. All right. And yeah, so then mm -hmm. it's a whole heap of knowledge in this tune still. And before before we let it out, I would like to at least give a big up to the producer of this rhythm, you know. Mm -hmm. This man, EJ, EJ Rams out of Guadeloupe and then right now he's in Switzerland, you know, but this man make massive music game. Yes. Yeah. Some of the toughest rhythms you can find now on YouTube or reggae producers, you know, close right. to a hundred thousand views and no vibes, you know, is, is, is a potent, is a potent producer. So I, I keep working with him and then we got some vibe coming still, you know, a remix for the Sababa, Un Mundo Mejor and some new track. All right. You know, so tell us a little bit about that tune while I pull it up. You know, for, for those who probably may not understand Spanish totally, have an idea of, of um, you know, what it's saying. Well, the track really says that if Rasta is culture, why is there so much war in the world? Yeah. And right. then mm -hmm. it's really a teaching, you know, where you teach man that they should respect each other, their motives. And just keep the peace, you know. And that's that. That is that is my definition of culture in this track. And relating it to Rasta people, you know, just to clear the Rastafarian name in society that we not no violent people, no drug addicts, no power, no hippie. You know, it's just people that look for peace. Activist people that that really know that the law of Jai is more important than the law of mankind. Really, yeah, man. So Rasta is culture for the Spanish people. Okay, there's someone with their mic on. Who's that? I, I just hear somebody microphone kicking off. All right, it's gone. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and, and um, load this tune. And for those of you who are listening and who um, enters the chat room and would like to join into the camera part of it, remember when you go and you have to click camera only. If you do not do that, what happens whatever you're doing or whatever you're listening to get streamed back and it messes up um, the listening pleasure for those who are in the chat box. All right? So here we go. Coming from Aijadan. Rasta Escultura. Yeah, man. So you see, Amar es la llave. Cultura reggaetan. Aijadan. Yes, sir. For life. Si rasta es cultura, porque hay tanta guerra en el mundo de ya, en el mundo de ya. Y si rasta es cultura, porque 
hay tanta guerra en el mundo de ya, en el mundo de ya. Bella y triste la nueva ley, que Babilonia nos impone every day. Ahora déjame explicarte, si llego a mi coro te lo prometo, te lo diré en otra parte. Reggae music a los ojos es un arte, te enseña que tienes que cuidarte. Tienes el poder, pues haz lo posible. Yeah. Y si rasta es cultura, porque hay tanta guerra en el mundo de ya, en el mundo de ya. Y si rasta es cultura, porque hay tanta guerra en el mundo de ya, en el mundo de ya. Haz bien mi hermano, haz bien mi hermana, no mates tu hermano, no mates tu hermana, seguir a tu papá, respeta a tu mamá, y así conquistarás el primer sentido de la libertad, y así es que aprendemos a amar, ya tengo mi semilla para sembrar, sababa, sababa, y si rasta es cultura, porque hay tanta guía. Yes, massive, I'm telling you. Yes, bless up yourself, Mr. Linford Nugent, another big artist. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I was really enjoying that, even though I, I do not understand everything that was being said, but just the rhythm and the whole floor, the music, you know, give you that um, positive feeling. Now, um, I, Jadan, it's, you could have done any genre of music, right? I mean, there's so much, yes. there's soca, there's um, pop music, there's reggae, but you choose reggae. What was it about reggae um, that made you choose reggae as a way of bringing out what you want to say in your music? Yeah, man. Well, you know, I'm a person king. Physically, I'm physically my, my body stature, I'm very tall, you know. Yeah, and you're gonna see where I'm coming from with all that. My height is like six foot seven. Ooh. You know, Michael My, Michael Jordan's height. <laughs> yeah, not not so big, not so heavy. I guess some people have seen me on some of my video clips, you know? Right. But then in growing up, going out, university, disco, nightlife, certain things I learned for myself, you know? That some things I just I just can't deal with them because it's not it's not the lifestyle for me, even not even physically, much less for taking it to a further level as as to what the way of my thinking, you know. Mm -hmm. So then, when I cite up reggae and I notice the, the way the masses react, the frequencies of reggae music is much better for me because personally I I don't like going to a, a jam or a dance hall. And, and shake and shake up myself and jump all over the place, bounce people, people bounce me, and and then I call that a free up, you know. I I call that singing to people or making music or or even chanting for a righteous cause, you know. Right. So when I observe that, the best way I can express myself is being calm and humble, you know. Yeah, I I I re I figure that that is the type of music I need to sing. And that is the one that make me feel good too, you know. So that's why I choose Reggae King because I, I'm not the kind of a lagarance person, as you would say. You know, a man that like carnival and jump up and and you know get drunk and these kind of vibes. That's not my lifestyle. So Reggae is my lifestyle. So. Yes, yeah. you know. Now, um, t talking about that, um, Ijordan, when some music, I think, is probably one of the most influential, um influential medium that's out there right when yeah. someone hear music it is it, it, something that 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 stick with you when, when 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 you hear something so as someone who does music you have automatically become a role model you have art automatically become someone who somebody is 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 going to look up to right sure so um. for you personally when you do music, seeing that as a musician, you do influence those who listen to your music, what would you like 
for those who hear your music, what would you like for them to get from your music? Or when they hear Ijadan tune, what would you like, what, what, what you want that tune to leave them with? Well, I would like the people to feel, you know, the same, the same energy that I feel when I'm making the music or even in the studio doing the track. You know, I feel I feel elevated, King. You know, it's like a, a natural high to make music. You know, music is like drugs too. You know, yeah. the kind of effect it, yeah, man. The effect, the effect that it has on the body and the mind, and and can make a man feel. Yeah, that's just what I want to project. You know, whatever I record, the way that I the way that I chant it and the way I listen to it and feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the movements of the people would be like just the feedback. You know, and that's what I really want from the music: the feedback of the people. To see right. that the frequency of the music, the words, the lyrics, it get to them and they can relate to it, they can chant it, they can throw up to the tracks. Like, yeah, man. So I just don't make good music too, you know? Yes, sir. Yes. You know, now um, let's go and look at, at some of the things that, that, that you've done in, in music or some of your personal accomplishment so far in, in doing music. Where, where are some of the places that, that music I've taken you so far, and after that, tell me which place that you've been that you, that that you would say um, give you like the most significant memory. You know, you know, like that one place where you sit back and say, "Boy, I remember that time." Two of the places that music have taken you. Yeah, man. Well, during during my traveling, really promoting my music, I haven't been to so much places, Ken. Mm -hmm. It's only between Dominica and Venezuela, and then one one year during a trip to Venezuela, I made a stop in Trinidad where I spent a few days and I kind of uh, promote the music too. But then where I can really say that I I've been making more movement and more shows is here in Venezuela, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because there's more population, there's more more unity amongst the youth for an event. So if I if I organize something, even myself, there will be a little more feedback. Uh, I'll really full joy the vibe still. And then I have some good memories. Man. I did a show in a state they call Akaregua, not so long, you know. Yeah. It was my first time performing here with a uh, DJ Leon Leandro. You know, and it was a real, real good vibe. That's where I got more energy to keep on with this repatriation album because I see the tracks on it is real balanced for the people, even at a show. Mm -hmm. You know, the Raga jungle and all this. Yeah, I, I, I see the vibe from this here, so. So all I can right. say, yeah, man, in Venezuela is where I really full dread the vibes, though. Okay. You know, so let, let's, let's talk about this album right here, Repatriation Album, right? And um, first, I'm always intrigued about the title of, of, of an album because for each artist and their title track, if, 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 if you should find out there is something beyond what we see why they they give that that specific album that title track so tell us um why repatriation well in respect of the honor of a prophet marcus mosiah gavi mm -hmm. you know in growing up i i learned to respect that man and cite him up as a real high man still for having such a mentality fighting for that cause mm -hmm. which is repatriation and then certain words in english you can play around with them and get, and get negative from them you know but a word like repatriation mm -hmm. is a very big word right. from time people hear repatriation they know what they know what it means you know? mm -hmm. so using it as a title for the album that's one of the reasons second i wanted to said repatriation as a as a vibe where, where people can um mentally repatriate you know like by vibing with the music and getting into this vibe you know when when you um i feel i like to explain so much sometimes i even get caught up you know? no man Let explain me man that's what that's it <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's, yes king you know it's like i have I have so many words to say with so with such little time, brethren. Mm -hmm. I feel that's why I produce so much music too, you know, because I have a lot of um demos where it hasn't been released because I can record tracks like every day. As right. long as I have microphone on it, I record every day. So. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, man. You know, but you know, it, so, you know, yeah. um, you know, one thing with us here on Zion Honest Radio, it's it's we never just do a one time thing. So whatever we, we don't cover today, there's always time that we can, you know, come back and and go over those things. Um, you know, so feel free to express yourself, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reality. Well, actually, I'm expressing myself, you know. It's just that I feel I would have gone in too much of a, a long conversation trying to explain myself. You know? Right, right, right. But that's right. just showing that I'm a that's just showing that I'm a good hearted individual, you know. I'm not the kind of person that likes to leave people stranded or halfway in anything. Right. No, I always like to explain myself and get things clear. You know? Okay. You yeah, know that's, that's the reason for it. Yeah. All right. On that note, let's go ahead into another tune out of your music box. So um, what I want for you to do right now is just choose something else from out of the Aijadan box. And um, we'll drop that. Great. Yeah, man. There's this, there's this show for Only I and I with Simba Orchestra. The next artist from Dominica. I, you know, I think if Simba is online right now, we should link up still. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, come up on the cam or so. Yeah, and this track is real high energy. The rhythms come from St. Croix, Ras Kubo. Yeah, as a producer that I linked one day in Dominica after doing a tour, because I, I also worked as a tour guide on the island. So I made this one, and, and we made a link. He started forwarding some rhythms. And one day, Simba and I went to the studio, and that's the vibe we came to. Only I and I, you know? It's a meditation where we see that it depends on each man and each woman to save yourself in that life, you know? And avoid judgment. So yes, sir. Yes. Only yeah. I know. Yeah, man. Well, we put that up. Welcome to Mr. Linford Nugent in the place, you know. And for um, you know, real quick, let me just run down here and and you know, I like to give everybody a personal big up and you know that everyone listening right now, thanks for being here to supporting the artists and, and stuff like that. We have Daddy Alex, we have Lady Bon Bon coming to us from out of Florida. Mr. Linfred yes, Nugent coming to us from out of Connecticut. <coughs> Roots man, we have Show No Mercy out of Canada. Steven from out of Costa Rica. We have Zion Dread. We have Chris Kibo. We have Dalo Wallo from out of New York. What's going on, on Dalo Wallo? We have Dan on Minot again from up in Connecticut. We have um, Fajra from out of New Jersey. Fire Dina yes. coming to us from out of Dominica. You know, I was going to say Costa Rica just to mess with her, but she's actually coming from out of Dominica. We have quite yes, a few sir. guests in the place. We have Influence, J.A. Deuce coming from out of New York, Josh Cherubin. We have Keith Wint. Um, we have Lady Shaw, Medzai, MPLS Dan Saul. And uh, every time I mention that name, I have to say that's one of the best web designers. So if you need your website created and all of that stuff, Trust me, this is a person you need to contact. MPLS Dancer. We have Nasparo. We have Ora Jok. Um, Ora Jokaraza. All right. We have Smiley. We have Turf. And of course, we have a lot of those people listening on the outside. And for those folks listening to their um, iPhones and their Blackberries and Android and all the 4G technologies, you know, and all over the world. Welcome. With that, I am going to go man. ahead. And go into the eyes of that music box, and this one is called Only I and I. Here we go. Yes. I miss it. I Jadan there. Simba Orchestra there. Reality check in again. At Zona Records this time. You see, it's only I and I. Can see about ourselves. Oh, judgment. All right, all right. Live it up, man. Can see ourselves from a judgment where there is no judge but ya. Man, not a jury, I man, just a man. No bother with the big guy, Jadan. I man, just put Ja before man, Ja before Dan. Two are we still become one? Yeah. One day as it is in Zion, yes. learn and accept. Just trade and feel 
It's coming from I Jordan, no one but I and I. All right, I Jordan, you know, <coughs> talking about this album, Repatriation, and we're playing quite a few tunes from there. So, you know, one of the big questions coming from the listeners, right, is yes, sir. how can they get this album? For, for, for these music that I'm playing right now, if they would like to hear this music in, you know, in their own personal time. How, um, how, how would you go about doing that? How, how can they get that? Is it available on the download links, the iTunes, and all of that stuff? Yes, sir. It's available for a free download from a major file link. Mm -hmm. Now, most of the people that I have on Facebook, well, actually, everyone, every one of my contacts have been invited to download the album. Right. So if they just search in their events, they can find where I've invited them. You enter the event, and the download link is available. And right now, I can even copy and paste it in the skybox for you so you can share it on the, on the site. All right. Now, that's um, okay, yeah? talking about, about um, the social networks, Facebook and, and, and stuff like that, what social networks are, are you available um, through? You know, for those who, after the interview, who, may, who are not your friends on Facebook at this present time, but if they want to say, hey, I Jada, how are you doing? I love the interview. Or even to keep up with some of the things that, that, that you're doing with, with, with your music. Sure. Well, I'm on most of the social networks. I'm on Twitter, SoundCloud, MixCloud, MixPod, YouTube, LinkedIn, Tumblr, yeah, face that's that's about it. Right. And and um all they look for is um Ijadan. Ijadan Taurus. Ijadan Taurus. Taurus. Ijadan Taurus. Yes. You know. So talking about the name I Ijadan and one of the questions I asked myself is I wonder how did you come by the name Ijadan? Ijadan Taurus. Yes, yes I well, you know, I I learned that in Ethica, at, at university studies, there's a subject that they call Ethica in Spanish. You know, it really means like, um, what was the word? Ethics is like ethnics or, or, or morals, you know, of people. Right. And then we learned that I and I, and I existed even in, in the Spanish world, where it would be Joey Joe, where you have a supreme I and yourself. So then I figure I'm going to put I and Ja together. 
and Dan has my name coming from Danny, mm -hmm. would just be at the end of it. So Ja come first in my in my life, you know. So I ja Dan really is Ja and I in one. But Ja is always before Dan still. That's why okay. only and I say, you know, it is only one till Ja and I become one, but Ja Ja never come after, it's always before Dan. You know, so it's I ja Dan. Yes, so, yes, so. yes, yes, yes. You know? Um explanation and stuff because you know, sometimes you, you, you see names and you never really understand, um, you know, the, 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 the reasoning behind that. But names, I think, are um, very powerful. You know, no, let's talk sure. about um, Ijadan. What are some of the things that you're doing right now with your music and for the fans that you presently have and for the new fans that you'll be gaining? Um, you know, as time goes, what are some of the things that they can look forward to coming from Ijadan? Right now, I'm sitting and doing a lot of editing on videos. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm working on a new EP called Living in the 13. And then I have a series of videos that I'm putting together. I released the, the, the first one, the first single and the first video just yesterday. Mm -hmm. So then if the people even check on my profile, they can see... Um, that that new video living in the 13. so my plan right now is to finish with that ep meanwhile when i get a free up record the next demo on the side so like i could always go back to it and start working on the next album because it's never season never pause in the music world still you know yes yeah so while promoting repatriation i keep building living in the 13. yeah right. so that's what i'm really on right now mm -hmm. yes i you like know, the no. j man would say that's what that's what me they pan I got to the pun right now. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, man. So, um, you know, having an international audience, you have people in, in Europe, you have people um, in the US, and I guess even in other Spanish countries and in your, your, your home, Dominica. Um, yes. Can they look forward to any upcoming tours or any upcoming performances? Um, coming from Ijadan, what, what, you know, what can we look forward to as far as performances from yourself? Well, performances back home in Dominica, well, this year I have some plans of going back to Dominica. Mm -hmm. And then there's a festival called the Unity Music Festival, which I, I got some knowledge about it, which was supposed to be in May, but it has been postponed for July. Right. You know, so my, I'm going to make a great effort to see if I can be in Dominica for July and see if I can get into this event because, well, I have already got a few words about it, you know, so mm -hmm. time can tell or I can just forward still and hold on and be part of that event in Dominica. So if the people in Dominica are looking forward for Ijadan, then they can see that. And then if I get to Dominica even before, I get back on my submission, you know, because I always link up the, the locals on my own in my proposal and try to set up an event too, you know. Yes, so, yes, yes. I, I just, and anywhere I step, anywhere I step, King, my works have to be known because I, I keep pushing it. And as I say, that's what I am, you know, so, so wherever I am, my music there with me still, I never travel without a pen drive with my rhythms, no CD. So any DJ, any selector I made right now, plug it in, let's see, you know, and that's, that's the movement still. So I just, I'm always active still. Yes. Yeah, man. You know, all right. You know, so any plans for any other performances? I mean, whether in Europe um the u.s you know what, what, what well we look really to? really speaking personally if there's people listening right now producers promoters in europe man that it would be a blessing that they would link me even on facebook twitter any of the links because mm -hmm. i have a plan now for august to go to europe you know for france i have just one link for getting into the Notting hill festival in england but it's not confirmed yet that I'm going to perform, so no publicity can be made, you know? Right, but right, right. On the other on the other hand, I would like for if there's any producers listening that they would at least take note of that interview and my name and my music and have me in mind still for any vibe that they're gonna have rolling in France during August. Yeah, yes, man. yes, yes. So uh, all that uh, these are things that could possible um happen and, and, and things like that no i just tell me in doing your music um for you personally 
where where do you want to see yourself and your music within say the next one to two years my music i want to see my music as high as any other artists that i've respected mm -hmm. you know yeah where where anywhere in Niger and tune is played the people can relate to it and say yeah man i've heard the artist and that man is a powerful man in the music because yeah. it's like it's not that i'm fed up of just the same set of people telling me i just feel to myself that it's full time you know it's full time that i i forward into the music scene king because it's a lot of dedication a lot of time you know right right that i spend with producing and and have a good vision about it so i, I can't crash that dream still so i just know one day better must come one day man must make it still. yes yeah so it can be it can be from today to tomorrow it can be in the next year but i just not gonna give up still you know yeah yes, it's gonna sir. keep on yeah i can understand continuous work yeah and 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 before before we close the interview just remember mm -hmm. to ask me for an acapella because <laughs> yeah. i got this track <laughs> full time you know where it speak a lot of truth all right you know, as to what i really want what i really want to do into the music vibes yes. you know and say it's full time for all that to take place still sir yeah my yes, sir. Oh, you know that's something i'll never forget because it's not if, if i forget that then you know i have to go and hide in for a while and hope that the listeners forget you know you know um you know i, I did that once man and i i still haven't heard the end of it you know i in interviewed uh, an artist and in conversation and conversation get nice and we're going and then interview finish you know and you know, just real quick, yeah. you know, for those of you um, in, in, in the shout box, I can see things are live and running here. Um, if you have any questions, you know, for Ijadan, um, we just have a few minutes left, you know. But also, you can call in 410-691-3754, 410-691-3754, or via Skype. On Skype, all you have to do is... Um, Look for Jam Dong 3, like Jamaica, Jam Dong, J A M D U N G, and the number 3. All right? So, with that, I Jadan, let's go back into your music box once more. Um, you know, what would you like for the massive to hear? Yeah, man, let's just get, let's just balance it a bit, King. I got this track, Un Mundo Mejor. You know, it means a better world. It's the next Spanish tune produced by EJ Ramsemoy. I would like the people on them to vibe with this. It's with a brethren from Venezuela called Dini Mac Black. You know, a brethren from a nice area called Bocono in Venezuela, where there's a lot of mountains, just like the Caribbean islands. Yes. A real blessed atmosphere. The brethren does hip hop. I do my reggae. So we made a fusion track on this EJ Rams rhythm. And it's more knowledge still. It still leads to the repatriation album because repatriation means that you, you're looking for a better world. You know, you're going back to the better, to the better world, to the betterness of man. Yeah. Right. Yes, and this one is Un Mundo Mejor. Yes, sir. Un Mundo Mejor. All right. You hear that? Boy, I just, it's, it, it must be been a while since it, you, you've been living in um, Venezuela for a while because you have the Spanish accent down, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a man. Yeah, when I first came to Venezuela, it was in 2003. I yes. came for university, mm -hmm. and then we did like a six a six month crash course, and then we got into studies. But then I think what really helped me is not staying inside. You know, I started traveling from start and linking people and making music. So then the music really helped me still to to man to maneuver the vocabulary good, and and have the Spanish lockdown in that way right now. All right, so yeah. here we go. Un mundo mejor, 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 mejor. Yes, sir. All right, you know, you might try to roll my tongue and I mess everything up. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I miss it. I miss it. Again. I just don't This is your time, Connor. Dini Mark Black. Dini. Nuevo mensaje. Es lo que en ahí deseamos. Un mundo mejor. Un mundo mejor. Un mundo mejor. 
Quiero vivir en un mundo mejor No ves lo que pasa en el mundo de hoy Mucha pérdida de sangre y sudor Por eso Rasta canta sobre repatriación Quiero vivir en un mundo mejor No ves lo que pasa en el mundo de hoy Mucha pérdida de sangre y sudor Por eso Rasta quiere quemar a Babilón ya son muchas veces Más que arroz y nueces Que hay engaño por placeres No importa tu color, no importa quién eres Habrán obstáculos en el camino Pero también hay un Dios divino Y una reina que trae equilibrio Así se hizo desde un principio Y quiero vivir en un mundo mejor ¿No ves lo que pasa? En el mundo de hoy Mucha pérdida de sangre y sudor Por eso Rasta canta sobre repatriación Quiero vivir en un mundo mejor No ves lo que pasa en el mundo de hoy Mucha pérdida de sangre y sudor Por eso Rasta quiere quemar a Babilón Yo no espero que me sigan y me idolatren Yo solo espero que a través de mi texto No se maten, que saquen las armas para tirarlas al mar, por si les salen palmas, brazos y así puedan nadar en lo profundo del mismo abismo y no vuelvan más, en esta tierra del clasismo llamada nunca jamás, ya que jamás cumplen lo que prometen y nunca aportan a la sociedad solo compiten, que quiten las series de adolescente con mente pequeña de apariencia decente y donde te enseñan a ser racista con lente, por tener breques en tus dientes Sé consciente. Quiero vivir en un mundo mejor No ves lo que pasa en el mundo de hoy Mucha pérdida de sangre y sudor Por eso Rasta canta sobre repatriación Quiero vivir en un mundo mejor No ves lo que pasa en el mundo de hoy Mucha pérdida de sangre y sudor Por eso Rasta quiere quemar a Babilón Invención, explosión, polución, contaminación Es lo que hay in where I'm found That's not lo que es in where I'm from La vida fuese mucho mejor si ya no hay guns Y ya no hay bombs matándonos Es el ego del egoísmo que nos tiene atrapados con el maligno Pero en el camino Un mundo mejor coming from Aja Dan. Boy, I'm telling you, you know, it's, 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 you know, time run so fast, you know, when, when, when you're having fun, you know, or when you're hearing good music, sure. you know, but like yeah. I always say, it's nothing wrong with that because we always have something, it, it's, we could never cover everything within one interview because we, probably could sit here and talk for three four hours or, or um things like that it, it, it's so much more that we could um really cover but but just real quick um you're a singer songwriter um do you play any instruments or if if, if you don't are there any instruments that you would um like to play well, I, I don't really play any instruments, King. But then a drum, a kete, a kete, I can hold it down and, and get my, my, my vibes with it. You know, if I want to form a track with just a one, two, mm -hmm. I can hold the kete and I can, I can, I can vibe with it. You know, but then to play a guitar or keyboards, I haven't, I haven't given any energy to that yet. So I guess that's why I can't do it, you know? Right, I really right, pick right. up the vocalist part of, of the music. So, mm -hmm. yeah, to just write the rhythms. Yes. No, when you write music as a songwriter, where, where, where would you say, what inspire you to write? Or where do you get your vibes from when, when you're writing music? When I write, I write, it's like a news report. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's something that just happened, you know, something I can relate to and say, yeah, I'm going to put that in, in, in words, mm -hmm. in a track. Yeah, so it's always it always depends on a moment, a feeling, man. Where where when I write a track, because if I was making commercial music, then I would have to think a little more 
as to creating a certain music with subliminal messages where people never hear before or some mm. strange sort of things, you know, but then it's just the same, it's just the same conscious lyrics because conscious lyrics are, are basic words. And if you listen to different styles of reggae, different, aspects, they talk about really the same things. It's just that some people use less words. They make slower music. Like we would compare Burning Spear. Burning Spear would chant a track about repatriation and then it would have less lyrics as right. to what I would write now in, in these times, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I make music, it's for it's that type of inspiration, you know, to to talk about something that's real, something that really happened, not no illusion or just a commercial track to write a rhythm and, and play with my voice and say it sound nice, you know, it's to yes. say something really whenever I write a track to express myself, you know. Right, right, right. You know. Now, I Jadan, before we leave, couple of things, and you know, I definitely cannot forget the acapella, you know, because you know everyone is looking forward to that, but um. Is there anything that you would like to say um, to the listening audience before we um, before we end this? Well, if there's any of the DA artists that I personally know listening to the interview right now, I would just like to share that feeling to them that I know that we all on the same struggle, and then. If we're doing it for a conscious and righteous cause, just know that one day we're going to make it the same way, you know, because artists don't only come from Jamaica or or Europe, but also they come from Dominica too. And then if we're in that struggle and making music and trying to push our way through, man like Ama Moses, Simba Orchestra, Ras Khalil, you know, Ivis Lawrence, these men, uh, you know, I just want to send out a word if they're listening. Now we're going to make it one day still, you know, so we just can't give up and we just have to keep pushing our work straight. And then also, also to the Zion Highness family, you know, people like Shona Mercy and Daddy Alex Stevens, Faja, you know, uh, I guess um, Nat is also there, you know, Nat Sparrow. Yeah, man, big up to these men there still, you know, because when I first came back on Zion Highness and the chat box, it's the first set of faces that I, I, I observed. And these people have linked up on Facebook and been following the works and showing support. So I can see there's article people still on Zion Highness, you know, so shout out to these people still. And at home, if my family is listening, you know, my queen, my mother, my cousins, you know, anybody listening, family, bloodline, yeah, man, love, same way. And give thanks for listening and showing support. And all the brethren and sisters. Really. Yes, definitely. Because, you know, music is a thing. M music, the power about music, music have no boundaries. Music is not confined to country, race, creed, religion, or anything like that. Music is one of those things that cross all those things that separates or that people may use as separation, you know. So, with sure. that, I, Jordan, I'm going to turn it over to you because, you know, the massive... They are waiting for that live a cappella coming from yourself. Yes, sir. Well, you know, this live a cappella is a tune being produced right now in Chile, in South America. It's a rhythm called the Jama rhythm. Jama would be in a flame. You know, and this is going to be a real big rhythm because we have some hard artists from the South America line. Man like Balaguerro, Crespo Salem, Jaricio. You know, so it's a real tough rhythm, the Jama rhythm. And then this track, it really talks about my evolution in music and my and my aim, you know, my mission to 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 keep the struggles until I, I really make it to the top. When I say the top, I don't mean the top of the world, you know, but the top of my struggles where I no longer have to have to fight to get into a little show or do anything like that, you know. So it's full time. That's 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 the name of the track still. So I'm gonna just release it to the people then, a cappella style. All right. Vibration. Yeah. You see, waiting for the right time, so I can run go get my hands. Been working full time, so I know that there is a reward. Hey, waiting for the right time, so I can run go get my eyes. Been working full time, so I know that there is a reward. Hey, it's full time, the world, sight up Rasta. Music is my life and nothing come after. No question. 
question I ask and nobody no answer. But my goal in time is set a mission and conquer born evil Babylon. Gone and war tanker. Peace I'm on a pre and defending a culture. Now nah, go sell out just to pretend no rights. Trouble make a come and give me a fight. True them know that I burn out wrong over right. In a the rhythms that I write. In a the verses that I write. In a the darkness me say Jaja is my light outside. Electrical energy cause genetical fight. But I won't give in. Repatriation scheme on Africa, Ireland. You know what me mean. Purple, black, yellow, diamond, red, gold, and green. In a Europe, in a Africa, in a the whole earth be in. While all clock ticking, steadily advancing. A time must come for judge your children shining. Take heed. Hey, waiting for the right time. So I can run, go get my eyes. Been working full time. So you know that there is a reward. Hey, waiting for the right time so i can run go get my eyes been working full time so you know that there is a reward hey it's full time the people realize that rasta man full time is a your time there is no other one full time man turn up the flame and babylon full time that not no fairy tale like peter pan full time you'd stop make your mother ball full time no more violence no more white spell full time get a look and turn espanol full time full time i'm waiting for the right time so i can run go get my eyes been working full time so you know that there is a reward hey better must come real <laughs> yes much respect much respect <laughs> Yes, big respect, you know, I'm laughing because Rootsman is on pull that up, bull time. <laughs> yes, I Jadan, you know, I, I, I want to say thanks, man. And, you know, like I always say, um, you know, it's not a one-time thing because definitely as, as you're going through your musical journey and you're getting a new ventures, new music, doing new things and stuff like that. You know, definitely come back and, and, and talk about There's a lot of more things we could talk about, but we could cover those, um, you know, at such time. And always I want to say thanks for being here with us. Thanks for, you know, spending yeah, man, same way can learn more about you and your music. All right. So much respect sure. and have a blessed evening. All right. Yes, I same same to the I King. And give thanks same way for accepting the vibes and and seeing that it has been manifested. You know that we did the, the interview on Zion Highness. You no know, way I know that it's a part of your life still. You know I, I I've been listening to the interviews that you do with other artists, and that's why I even told you personally, man, that you give the artists an exam. You know, and I would like to really do an interview with you still because you you get to the questions where the artists really have to reveal who they are. You know, right. So it's right. like you're a good pro you're a good teacher then. You know. <laughs> appreciate that man. yeah man so keep that. keep keep doing your thing on zion highness game big up yes much respect yeah. much respect every time yes, all right yes sir. And, give, and give thanks to all the people that that been vibing still you know blessed love and they can keep they can keep checking my works on facebook there's a biography they can read some more about me follow me on the profile get the music you know how we keep building the connection Yes, 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 yeah, man, and keep it luck, you know. Um, you know, we have we have another um very talented artist coming through, you know, because you know we push positive yeah, music, positive artists who are doing good things. All right, much respect. Surely, mm -hmm. yes, I bless up. Yep. Yes, Zion and his massive. You hear that? That was I Jadan. You know, you hear the music, you hear the man, you know, and you know what we do here, and Zion and his, we bring you the best of the best.